This installation video will take you through the process of installing Legrand's Level 2 networked EV charger on a wall and pedestal. Before beginning, ensure that the installation location is properly prepared. Legrand recommends a 60 amp service to be provided for each individual charger being installed. If mounting on a wall, a weatherproof junction box is required. For pedestal installations, no separate junction box is needed at the charger location since the pedestals are listed to UL standards that allow for internal wiring. The charger can be delimited from 48 amps if needed. To adjust, remove the cover of the charger and turn the internal amperage dial to match the appropriate configuration using the table shown here. Since this is a network charger, the unit needs to be registered and activated with Smart Charging Management software before installation. Follow the setup process provided as part of the Amp Up Quick Start Guide. Ensure that the Legrand charger is selected from the model dropdown. Determine the location of the wall mount charger. It is recommended to place the RFID access area below 48 inches from the ground to allow for ADA compliance. Mark the location of the top of the charger and remove the wall mount plate from the charger. Remove the mounting plate from the back of the charger and set aside the security screws. Using the mounting plate as a template, mark the screw hole locations. Drill the marked locations with an appropriate drill bit to the listed specifications. Use the included bolts to secure the mounting plate to the wall. Place the EV charger on the mounting plate and secure using the security screws on both sides of the unit. Once mounted, feed power conductors through non-metallic flexible conduit and secure conduit to charging station inlet. Make necessary connections with the junction box to finish installation. If the cable management hook was provided, place near charger and drill four additional holes and install using anchor bolts. After service has been turned on and the charger LED turns blue, follow the verification steps in the email received after the initial setup process from Amp Up. This process requires you to scan the QR code on each installed charger. Once a location has been identified for the installation, install a conduit at least 8 inches above the ground and pour concrete around. Using the base plate of the pedestal as a template, mark out the mounting holes ensuring that the conduit is in the center of the pedestal. Drill four mounting holes and install the included expansion anchor bolts in place. Place pedestal over the installed conduit and secure it to the bolts using the included hardware. Install the cable management hook that comes with each pedestal. Take note of the orientation of the plug holder to ensure the plug can snap into the holder in the proper position. Remove the mounting plate from the back of the EV charger and secure to the face of the pedestal using the included bolts. Feed the wires from the EV charger into the pedestal conduit and place charger on the mounting plate and secure using the security screws provided with the charger. If a base cover plate was purchased, slide the two halves together and secure using the included screws. Open the access panel by removing the screws from the panel and set them aside. Once mounted, wire the power cord conductors within the pedestal. After wiring has been completed, place the access panel back on the pedestal and turn on the service breaker when ready to finish setup. After service has been turned on and the charger LED turns blue, follow the verification steps in the email received after the initial setup process from Amp Up. This process requires you to scan the QR code on each installed charger. For more information, visit legrand.us/evc.